That's guys. But evening to all. This evening I will do a video on the vault road. And we're at Shmahal, St. Thomas. I'll do vault road here. So this is the other side of the walk road. No. I will do a walk to Carrington's village by the corner, by the junction. And then turn back. So again, I'm in another peaceful community here at Wetchma Hall. Vault Road, Wetchma Hall, St. Thomas. Once again. Back up to the walk road. Yeah. All the vault road here. Let's so we'll walk to the end of the vault road. And then walk back. So again, I'm in the center of the island in the parish of St. Thomas. St. Thomas can best be referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. They have no sea nor coastline in these parishes. These are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados. Best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. Beautiful rural community. Below here is Carrington's village, St. Thomas. Village, KMF and St. Thomas via Highland Road. This is Highland Road here. 
uh, the body can feel and back to Dunscombe and Pori Spring and that side and back to Hillaby. So this is the section in which my family was born and raised. My grandmother we used to live at this house. We used to live down here. And my great aunts, great uncles, born in this area, in Carrington's village, St. Thomas. All down here is my great grandmother's land. Carrington's village overlooking the Scotland district and into the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph. Yeah? Yeah, we have Yeah. Heading back to the vault road now. This way back to Cairnfield and Highland Road and back to Hillaby. And this way back to the vault, the vault road. So this is a peaceful, quiet Vaught Road community here in the heart of Barbados in the parish of St. Thomas and down below here is the entrance to the Welsh Mahal Gully Welsh Mahal Gully North entrance down here So heading back, heading back to the vault road now, where the Williams vault is, which is home to the remains of the Williams family. This is my old neighborhood, and this is where my family was born and raised. This area here, in the beautiful parish of St. Thomas in Barbados.
Are we? Greeneries, the beautiful country life here yeah, in Barbados. Now it's empty. All right. Seven day Adventist Church. I'm now coming to Seven day Adventist Church here at Rashma. All the Rashma Hall, Seven day Adventist Church is here in the Vault Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm back at the West Mahal, Seven Day Adventist Church. I'm back to the Vault Road. Stand pipe here. Come in the vault, the Williams vault, which is home to the remains of the Williams family for over three for over three hundred years. This road here, this is the Williams Vault here. This road here will lead you back to the avenues in Richmond Hall, which is referred to by many residents as the Cat Road. We also have family too here as well. This will lead you back to the avenues in Richmond Hall, referred to as the Cat Road. See the antenna for CBC. See that Sturgis and St. Thomas. And this is the Williams vault here, which is over, which is the home for the Williams remains of the Williams family for over 300 years. And I'm going back to so back up to the vault road here. The vault road here. I'm at my house at Thomas. So the Williams family, this vault was built in 1660 by General William Asigel Williams. And it is the home to the remainder of Mr. Williams, who was the slaver, slave owner, and own and slave master of Rachman Hall Plantation. This vault is also known for its supernatural activity, where it is said that the coffins move about within the vault. Some say it's a myth, and some say it's a true story. But research did show that it is a true story. Back up at the vault. So the 
wall is in the center of the village. So for me to make my way down to the vault road. Back up at the vault again. Another peaceful, quiet, rural community here in the heart of Barbados, in the parish of St. Thomas. And as I said before, we are in close proximity to Harrison's Cave. Uh, Harrison's Cave runs all under these houses here. All under here is Harrison's Cave. Our sense came just behind here, right around the corner. Very near here. Evening. And this is the house that the Escorts band used to rehearse at. The Escorts band of Shirley Stewart, Carolyn Leacock, you and my father as well, at one point. So walking down the road now. Back up to the vault road again. And this is the Emmanuel Pentecostal Church here, which is known as Miss Payne Church. Emmanuel Pentecostal Church, where Miss Payne used to be the pastor at. My mother and other relatives had their days of revivals. My mother and aunts and others had their days of revivals here at the Emmanuel Pentecostal Church. So I'm walking down the vault road now. This is the vault vibes sports bar here. Shop here in the Vault Vibe Sports Bar. This consideration also includes fitness and provides information on United towards a global Here's the Vault Vibe Sports Bar here. Health, tuberculosis in the 21st century. Nutrition, what's your diet like? Purchase a copy of the Better Health magazine from Nation Vendors, Supermarkets, Mini Mart, Auto Mart, Pharmacies, and Village Shop Silent Wide for only $3. Or subscribe online at www.nation.com. So I've now reached the end of the Vault Road. So now at the bottom of the vault road now. This is the road that leading back to the car road to the other side of the vault. Ready to show you guys. So I've now reached the end of the vault road. No. Straight ahead will be to Rach Mahal, Mayor Road, Battle Holy Innocence Church and School, St. Thomas Post Office. This way will be to Harrison Cave and Rach Mahal Gully South Entrance. And this way back up to the Vault Road. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a blessed evening.